Jonah chapter 4 verse 1 onwards but the Jonah this seemed very wrong and became angry okay Jonah 3 verse 10 first when God saw Nineveh what they did and how they turned from the evil ways he relented and did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened but to Jonah this seemed very wrong Jonah 4 onwards and he became angry he prayed to the Lord isn't this what I say Lord when I was still at home this is what I tried to forestall by fleeing to Tarshish I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God slow to anger and abounding in love a God who relents from sending calamity now Lord take away my life for it is better for me to die than to live but the Lord replied, is it right for you to be angry? <laughs> this is an amazing story. Jonah was sent by God. God sent Jonah to go to Nineveh to proclaim that in 40 days, God would destroy the city because of the evil deeds. Now, let me tell you the story about this. Who is Nineveh? Nineveh is the capital of Assyria nation. Assyria nation is the most brutal powerful nation on earth at that time their brutality is stemmed from the fact that there is no god godless society essentially but they believe some sort of polytheism polytheism is a lot of gods competing for one another and killing one another essentially the the stronger and the fittest killing the weakest the weaker ones so that's how it works and uh this is how it, it the 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 nations evolve, right? Like evolution is based on that. The the, the stronger destroy the uh, the weaker. Because there's no justice in all this stuff. Um, so that's a consequence of uh, no one God society. If America wants to choose to go that route without the one God or any country, will face the consequences of the brutality, essentially. This is what happened to uh, Rome. Look at Rome. That's right, Rome. Rome. The Roman Empire during Rome's time, Constantinople, not Constantinople, the one before the uh, Caesar and all this stuff. They, they, they are the most gruesome society. There is absolutely no looking after the weak and the poor. There is no no such thing. There, there, there is, there is, there, 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 this history is gory. They enjoy in, in, in seeing uh, gladiators killing one another and about thousands and uh, tens of thousands of Roman citizens, spectators, they would just enjoy people being killed by gladiators or, or gladiators kill one another and, and be eaten up by lions right in front of their very eyes. They enjoy watching these things. What, what do you make out of that? What is that cr cruelty, evilness? and goriness come from they come from the this what augustine in the, in the city of god give a devastating critique to to rome the city of polytheism because there's so many gods in the roman world at that time that the consequence is stemming from the one they worship the the, the god they worship the gods that they worship is always competing fighting against one another and because it is polytheism there is no one god said it all and it's just fighting one another for dominance and as a result people are become like that that's why they they enjoy the goriness of gladiators killing one another and all this stuff okay so so that is Nineveh <laughs> Nineveh is so brutal evil and God sent warning message to them and they repented to the voice of one God the God so guys Jonah is responding to God's call to bring the message of warning to a society that 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 extols cruelty, evilness, and dominance, power over the weak, etc., and to repent. And they responded. And after they responded, Jonah one felt very evil, very angry with God because. Because if Jonah said, these are evil people, God destroy them. But after they repented, God changed the mind, changed his mind, God relented. You know, 
But the, the real thing, real deal is that uh, Jonah got angry. So Jonah should not got angry. Should not understand the grace of God. Jonah only become Jonah because of the one God in his life. The Nineveh, the Ninevians, did not have that kindness and the godliness and the compassion and all this stuff because of the absence of one overall God. Because Nineveh believed in multiple gods. And that's a consequence, a downfall of a civilization. The one God, Jesus Christ, is so important in the city and our civilization. Amen.